Hi viewers. Welcome back, to Draw and Design. Our today's topic is geographical or planar projections. Let's start. Planar projection is a subset of 3D graphical projections, constructed by linearly mapping points in three-dimensional space, to points on a two-dimensional projection plane. This chart is showing us the tree for projection views. Planar projections are subdivided in two types, perspective projections, and parallel projections. In today's video we will only discuss perspective projections, parallel projections will be left undescribed, please stay with us, because in future videos parallel projections will be discussed in details. Perspective view is a view of a three-dimensional image that portrays height, width, and depth for a more realistic image or graphic. Perspective view is what gives a three-dimensional feeling to a flat image such as a drawing or a painting. Perspective view is further divided into four types. One point perspective. A drawing method that shows how things appear to get smaller as they get further away, converging towards a single vanishing point on the horizon line. It is a way of drawing objects upon a flat piece of paper, or other drawing surface, so that they look three-dimensional and realistic. Two-point perspective A drawing method, in which parallel lines along the width and depth of an object, are represented as meeting at two separate points on the horizon that are 90 degrees apart, as measured from the common intersection of the lines of projection. Three-point perspective A drawing method in which, parallel lines along the width of an object meet at two separate points on the horizon, and vertical lines on the object meet at a point on the perpendicular bisector of the horizon. Curvilinear perspective It is a graphical projection used to draw 3D objects on 2D surfaces. Let's make it more clear with practical examples. For more interesting videos about drawing and designing work, please subscribe to my channel, also hit notification bell icon. We will start by making a one-point perspective view of a cube. We will decide a random place for our vanishing point. Then we will draw a Cartesian plane having some distance beside vanishing point. First we will draw a line straight toward the vertex. Then two lines with same distance from vertex. Then the edges of cube with horizontal and vertical lines. All extended lines to be trimmed once we got our desired shape. We will start making two-point perspective view of a cube. We will draw two vanishing points. All the boundaries except vertical lines, 
are disappearing only in these two vanishing points. The line connecting these vanishing point is named horizon. Vertical boundaries of this perspective must be parallel to z-axis. In this practice we will make our image below the horizon, but the image could be made above and on the horizon, giving us different perspectives. We will make a cube drawing in three point perspective. We will make three vanishing points in such a way that if we join these points with a straight line, we will get equilateral triangle. Vertical lines on the object meet at a point on the perpendicular bisector of the horizon. All of our boundaries must disappear in either of these vanishing points.
Curvilinear perspective uses curving perspective lines instead of straight converging ones, to approximate the image on the retina of the eye, which is itself spherical, more accurately than the traditional linear perspective, which uses straight lines and gets very strangely distorted at the edges. This perspective can be drawn using, 4 points, 5 points and 6 points. This view is used to project 2D shape on a spherical 3D plane. Thanks for watching, please stay with us to watch second part of this video.